Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to clone your disk drive onto another disk drive. With this you can also migrate data from different partitions onto another partition. You can also migrate your operating systems as well if you want to deploy the same operating system on multiple systems or within a different drive or partition in your system, you can do so as well. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe as I will be posting my videos like this on Mondays 5pm East. So before we jump into anything, it's important to understand what our disk drives are and what our partitions are. To do this, we're going to be holding shift and right click our Windows logo on the bottom left, then clicking disk management. In here, we're just going to expand this. You'll see a whole bunch of different things or a small amount of things depending on what you have. On the left side here, you're going to see your different disk drives. You'll see right here, I have a hard drive right here as my disk 0, a SSD as my disk 1, and a USB on my disk 2. In here, you're going to see different divisions or subdivisions. These are basically your partitions. They're basically divisions of your storage that are in your drive where you can separate data or operating systems even, which is what I do right here as I'm triple booting with three operating systems. For some of you guys, it might be tempting to just go to your file explorer, copy your OS right here or whatever files you have, and then just put it onto another drive. But the issue with this is if you look in disk management, your bootable drive has different different partitions that are important for it to boot, like the recovery partitions and the bootable partitions. If you were to just copy whatever files you have from one drive to another drive, you'll probably run into issues like not being able to boot at all. So to avoid all of this and to make sure all of our data gets migrated properly, we're going to be using a tool Ezos Disk Copy. I've tried other tools and this is just the most simplest one I could find and show you guys today. I'll have the link to it in the description below. So say now I want to copy the OS I'm on onto a different drive so I can boot from the same OS within a different drive. What I'm going to be using is the system mode section right here. In here, one thing to keep in mind is that it already chooses your source disk based on whatever OS you're booting this tool from. So say right now I'm on disk 1. This is going to show that it's going to copy the OS from disk 1 onto whatever target disk that I choose. So say I want to choose my target disk as disk 0. I want to copy my disk 1 OS onto disk 0. I'll click my disk 0 right here. Click next and then proceed. And it'll automatically fit the drive and create the partitions needed to be able to actually boot on disk 0. So once you open it, you'll see different sections like disk mode, which is what we're on right now. This is the mode that we use to transfer files and data from one drive to another drive. In here, I'm on disk 1. This is the current drive that I'm using right now on this Windows. If I were to want to transfer the data from this drive to my hard drive right here, disk 0, I'll choose my source disk, which is disk 1. I'll click next. I'll choose disk 0 as my target disk. I'll click next and then proceed. It's as simple as that. You don't want to mess with this really. It auto fits the disk for you, so you don't have to do any of that. You'll just click proceed and it'll transfer all of your data. I'm not going to do that in today's video because I don't want to, but that's how you would transfer files from one drive to another drive. Now, for those of you who are looking at partition mode or need to use this, this is basically just if you want to copy the files or data from one partition onto the next. So say right here, I want to copy the files from my E drive, which is just basically a partition on my disk one that contains a testing OS that I have. I'll click this as my source partition. I'll click next. And then say I want to copy it onto another partition like my other testing OS, I'll just choose that as my target. Or I could just choose it as a regular like disk drive as well, it doesn't really matter. And then I'll click next and then proceed as well. It already auto fits the desk for you. And it'll like put the data from you know, whatever partition you want to transfer it from onto the disk while like also keeping the storage that the disk already has instead of shrinking it. Now for those of you guys who are a little advanced, I want to use create bootable disk section right here. What this basically allows you to do is many things like if you want to create a recovery environment, so if you were to transfer data from one drive to a next drive, you have a little backup environment in case anything were to go wrong. If you also want to transfer one OS from one system onto a next system, you can also do this as well. You can create a specific ISO or 
use a CD or DVD right here. I have a USB plugged in. I'll just basically select my USB and then click create. And it'll create a bootable disk drive for my USB so I could transfer one operating system from one system onto a next. Now for the batch mode section right here, this really isn't that important. You do have some options where you could change your source settings, target settings, and what happens after you clone a disk drive or something. But for most of you guys, I wouldn't recommend you touch this at all before you cause any issues. Just use the tool as is and keep these settings on default. That's it I have for you guys in today's video. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I have the link to the tool in the description below if you need it. If you want to see more content like this or have any suggestions, let me know on my Discord server. And make sure to like and subscribe. But yeah, see you in the next one.